Hello and welcome, and today I want to show how to adjust the graphic scale in ARCHICAD using GDL, which is a parametric programming language that ARCHICAD uses. So in order to do this, I want to first show sort of the front end and then go into the back end. And so here we have, if you go to the drawing file here, and we can set the type and we'll set it to 23WF1. Open that and you'll notice that immediately the graphic scale shows up. So now let's say that we want to make an adjustment to this graphic scale. And so first what we have to just quickly understand is how ARCHICAD is retrieving the graphic scale. First of all, it's using a it's using this title type. And within that title type, it references this graphic scale to add on. And so the graphic scale is its own GDL object, but it's linked into the title uh, object, which is also an object in, in GDL. So in order to access it, I first want to open that you can directly open the graphic scale, but first you have to sort of know where that is and make sure that it's linking up to the title scale. And so I first want to show where it's being linked to make sure that you're linking to the correct object, or let's say in the future you want to make your own new graphic scale, you can um, adjust where it's linking to, to it. So I'll come up to here and type open object Okay, so this is the title type and we won't get into it too much, but I want to show where it is being, where the, the file is being called in case you wanna change the actual file location. And I'll just do control F and type in call. I don't know if it found it. Let's go to the top here again call there we go call graphic scale and so what this is doing is it's calling that file from another object and you can see here graphic scale title 4 and you can um, open that up and you know rename it and um, it will get those parameters something to note is it is picking up on the parameters that you're giving those graphic scales so if you change any of these parameters or change the name uh, you will probably get a warning because it's it's calling those parameters of the object uh, and if they're not there you'll get a warning so in order to open that uh, it should just be right in your file but if it's not you can select it and then just type open object and it automatically opens that object now you know okay I'm linked to that title type okay so You'll notice here there are parameters, and so we've set stuff like, okay, the user can adjust the uh, font type, the, the type of pen it uses. Um, that's sort of what the user can uh, change. For instance, the architectural scale type. In order to change the script itself, uh, there's a couple options here. It says scripts. And this one is more of the, the global uh, commands. And then here we actually have our 2D object to look at. So I'm not gonna go into a detail about how everything here works. However, I'm going to go over sort of how to make the adjustments um, to the, the black bars and the numbers. Okay, so we will come down to the scroll down and there'll be this note that says architectural. And so this is our first um, thing to edit, which is the numbers. So the it will say scale one to one, scale, you know, three to one foot, and we'll come down, let's just do one quarter. Scale one quarter of an inch equals a foot. 
and this all this adjusts here is the numbers in the scale and so what it does and how it works is that it's going to call this is go to subordinate 1020 it's going to call that graphic type which is below and then if you see an explanation point here that just means that uh, it's not running a script it's just telling you a message so for instance I put a message here you know adjust position X and number or titled you know what type it's using or for instance this explanation point will say what type of scale you are editing okay so here we have it's it's referencing this 1020 and then we have our our text here and this right here is adjusting the position so as i made a note up in here adjust x and y so this the first um this number will adjust the x and this a number will adjust the y and something to know is that zero is is its global hotspot and so when you're putting in the minus point zero zero four that's in reference to uh, the 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 global hotspots that are in this graphic scale so now let's go down to so this is most of them are using the 1020 graphic scale but for some of the other scales which are three quarters of an inch long use the 1015 type of graphic scale so then I'll just scroll down to 1015 and here we will find a, a couple of options and this is the 1015 type and then this is that first block poly polygon second block third block and then to each block it adds to the next position so that's what it says next position and then it makes a note you know above above center line below center line and then to adjust the blocks themselves you can adjust them here so i wrote a note let's see next position aka offset from zero um, position right so this is the thickness here of that block those two are determining the thickness and let's see and then this is will adjust this is actually adjusting the um, the x-axis the x-axis Okay, so I think that is um, enough to just understand this script here and sort of just how to adjust it. And I would say if you want to make a new graphic scale type, I would come in and type in here the 1025 and just make your new um, graphic scale within here. And then you go back and say, okay, I made my new graphic scale type. I'll come up to the engine, the architectural, and I will call 1015 instead, and then it will use that graphic scale. I'll save it, and then I'll check, okay, how did it change, and where are the numbers and the positions of the numbers. One thing I want to point out is that GDL is very sensitive, and so if you put two commas or uh, accidentally type in something, uh, it will give you an error message and so just be careful with that and then always check the script and you can go down to that error message to make sure that um, to see where the, that error is coming up okay well i hope this was helpful and will give you the ability if needed hopefully you don't need to be able to adjust the scales because they should be all set but just in case you need to make any minor adjustments uh, or make a new scale entirely, uh, this is how you can do it.
All right. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.